Today, we're exploring a profound concept that has fascinated thinkers for thousands of years. Escaping samsara. Samsara, in many Eastern philosophies, including Buddhism and Hinduism, represents the cycle of rebirth, a seemingly endless loop of birth, life, death, and rebirth again. But what does it truly mean to escape this cycle? The ultimate goal of escaping samsara is to achieve enlightenment, a state free from suffering and the continuous cycle of rebirth. This enlightenment, known as nirvana in Buddhism and moksha in Hinduism, means realizing the true nature of reality, where one is free from desires, attachments and the ego. The journey begins with recognizing the challenge, that life in samsara is marked by suffering, or dukkha, this suffering arises from our desires, our aversions, and our ignorance of the true nature of things. We cling to temporary pleasures and material possessions, not realizing that none of these can provide lasting happiness. So, what's the solution? It starts with self-awareness and mindfulness. Practices like meditation, ethical living, and wisdom help us understand the impermanence of all things and reduce our attachments and aversions. This path is outlined in the Eightfold Path of Buddhism and the various yoga paths in Hinduism. It's essential to approach this process with patience and without haste. Escaping samsara is not about hurrying through life or denying oneself pleasure. It's a gradual process of growth and understanding. Each moment is an opportunity to practice mindfulness and compassion, slowly loosening the bonds of the material. In conclusion, escaping samsara isn't just about transcending the physical world, it's about transforming our relationship with it. By realizing the transient nature of life, embracing ethical conduct and cultivating inner peace, we can approach each day as a step closer to enlightenment. Thank you for joining me on this journey of understanding. May you find peace and insight on your path to enlightenment. Namaste.